now I'm finna move this futon, finna come out of here, and finna go in there. I'm finna have some room over here since my daughter's moved out of there. Guess what? It's time to go ahead and capture that room. It's time to capture it, my friend. Today is, what the day is? The day is Thursday. Four Agreements Thursday. I got a little clip I'm gonna add to the beginning of this. I haven't been doing a lot of editing because I wanted to keep this as simple as possible to kind of build up a foundation. Because if I hadn't got into all this editing and all this stuff like this, I never would have got this far. You see what I'm saying? So it's more of a diary or chronology or whatever you want to call it. But the thing I was thinking about is the story, right? Like I said, I said it on, earlier, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I mentioned it again. It's about this conservation of energy. I was talking to my um, sister last night, and you know, she was talking about an uncomfortable subject, you know, to some people, religion and politics, right? Because everybody's got their own beliefs, and everybody believe what they want to believe. But I said, what, what can I do to to uh, verbalize my position. Because I'm at a point in my life where a lot of things don't matter. You know, but religion is important to me. So I think it does matter. So I want to convey the fact that it does matter to me, but also convey the fact that it matters to you too. And then everybody have a choice. And I think there's some common ground. So I came up with this story, right? So uh, then, and now after I talked to her, the next morning when I woke up, this is what this guy was, um, I think his name was Stanley. I get, get the name of his church. But anyway, he was talking about uh, atheists, people who don't believe in God, and people that believe in God, and that neither one of them can prove the other option, right? You know, there's creation theories, is it the Big Bang? And so then where did that come from? No, you can keep going back, well, where did that come from? How can something come from nothing? So it has to be some type of unification in there. So instead of getting into all that, right? I said, Lord, what can I say? He said, this is the analogy. You're catching a bus, right? This is the last bus. After this, no more buses. And then both of you have heard, I've heard that the bus is coming at 6 a.m. You've heard that the bus is coming at 7 a.m. But neither one of us is able to prove or resolve the issue. So what do you do? What do you do? Do you uh, wait? You know, and, and in this situation right here, especially since you know that you're going to not want to miss the bus, you're going to hedge your bet. You're going to cover all bases. You're going to wake up at 6 a.m. Because if you wake up at 7 and you was wrong, guess what? You missed the bus over with. But if I wake up at 6 and the bus hadn't came, then I can still catch it at seven. So that's my position. I'm just gonna cover the base. Don't cost me. Now, now here's then as I was looking at that covering the base, I was saying, okay, so what does that really mean? Why wouldn't I want to cover the base? Then I thought about it, shoot, when you're waking up at six, man, I don't wanna waste that time. I wanna conserve that time, I wanna conserve that energy. That's how my intellect was playing it out. Then, but when it came down to it, the time that I saved, the energy that I saved, what would I do with it? Where would I reallocate that time? And that time normally goes to the symbiote, to the parasite. It's eating that time. Because nine times out of ten, that time you save, you end up wasting it. Because you can't go back to sleep. You might as well should have got up. You know what I'm saying? You end up just wasting it anyway. But it, it's... He using that time. So that's why I look at it. I'm going to go ahead and hedge my bets. I'm going to play it safe. You know, and I played it safe 
for a long time now I'm starting to venture out and take some risks just like tomorrow's gonna be go for no Fridays where we don't play it safe too safe calculated you see what I'm saying we take some risk we stretch out a little bit because I believe that people can play it too safe and in that way they don't do anything so it's time but as far as my salvation I'm gonna play it safe because I don't get a do-over but as far as going for no with customers guess what it's not gonna be detrimental you know I, I uh, went for no with some customers and got the no but yeah but see with customers with people no really means not now so it's not really final only reason no is final is they say no and then they die then it's final but you'll get a chance to come back but nine times out of ten you'll come back for another no they're gonna get, get an opportunity to say no five times in these areas going for no with don't throwing away a piece of equipment what am I trying to conserve? I'm trying to conserve the money, but what ended up happening to the money? I end up losing, I end up wasting, I end up blowing it. You see what I'm saying? Then you come back and say, man, I should've went on ahead and spent that money. I should've went on ahead and purchased that. I should've went on ahead and did. So that, so you see what I'm saying? It's, a, it's a, an illusion to conserve that energy. But when it comes to my religion, right? When it comes to my religion, or my salvation, then man, I'm gonna play it safe. Because I can wake up at 6 and be wrong and still catch it at 7. But if you wake up at 7 and be wrong, ain't no going back home. But that's my position. I wanted to make sure I had a nice firm. Because me and her talked about that. We talked about, hey, look, you know, I've heard, we, she's talked, mentioned it in the past, that we knew there was some resistance there. But it then it goes out and it's back again. I said, okay. Let's just dive into that. Let's just see, you know, what's causing that. Then she said that some people asked her some questions, you know, and she gave some answers, but wasn't satisfied with the answer. So in my mind, I said, I say, all you do is just, what you want to do, you want to go back and you want to rehearse that, run that tape over and over again, clean it up and answer it the way you want to be. And it sounds like Groundhog Day until you get it right. So that the next, then when you're satisfied with it, the next time that happens, you already got that set. That's what we can do with our imaginations. We can go back in time or we can go forwards in time. Go to the past or to the future. We can. We have the capabilities. So by me telling her that, that's what I did. I said, okay, she had that conversation and she wasn't quite happy with her answer. I had a conversation with her. I wasn't quite happy with my answer. So I'm going to do what me and her decided that we was going to do is go back and then correct the answers. So that's where we at. And I think that's a good analogy. That's a good story. And I think you can use it's universal. I can use it anywhere. I can use it anywhere. Especially when I think certain things, you know, a lot of times the stuff don't matter. I don't I, I've been cutting back on my arguments. You know, I've been cutting back on my arguments and reallocating that time and that energy towards something productive. But um, I had a talk with a with a new part of myself. A new recruit came on. And I was, you know, not making assumptions because a lot of people was suffering. I wasn't helping the new recruits because they came in saying that they was not neophytes, that they was uh, masters, of, masters of the craft. So in my egotistical mind, I said, hey, I'll let them be masters of their own craft since they know what they're doing. And even though I'm observing that they don't know what they're doing, but my ego didn't want to impede on that or even mention anything to them, you know what I'm saying? But I kind of feel like I'm in a different spot, different part of the universe. I got different energy coming in. So I say, hey, look, I'm going to go ahead and, and lend my expertise to help them out. And it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's so simple. It's the one thing. That if they become masters at this one thing, which is prospecting, in the other case, talking about losing weight. Man, the one thing is absolutely awesome. It's awesome. Like I said, I got the Bible. <laughs> Boy, that's that's the one thing, one thing. And then I got the one thing. And then I got the four agreements. And then I got the go for no. Man, I mean, you got those books. And then there's a couple more I listen to. But that's why I kind of built my week on. Because those are the kind of the pillars. See, everything doesn't matter equally. That's for the one thing. It don't. 
some things are worth more than others, or value more than others, uh, or perform more than others. So if I'm gonna move the needle, then I need to be dedicating that energy towards the most leverage. That's what I'm saying. Let me share this with my wife. <sighs> Let's get into it. I'm finna do it to it. I filed my taxes, done. That's phase one. This phase two. Now we're finna go ahead, I'm finna move this futon in there. Dang, I think we're gonna bust this futon up. But I'm finna take it out of here and set it up in there. Then I'll probably move my elliptical out of here, move it in there. Yep, move that in there. I'm finna do some work, bro. Yeah, we finna get that thing started shaping it up and shipping it out. Peace out. I'm finna do it to it, baby. This is a new life, new chapter. Do it to it. Do it to it. Okay, do it to that thumbs up, do it to that likes, do it to your own life. Do it to it too. <laughs> Do 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 do